Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Layback Gamer, and we are... Well, this was a... Uh, while I'm building the deck, let me explain kind of what's going on behind here. Uh, a, this is, the footage you're seeing here was pre-recorded uh, when the uh, common gauntlet was around, so last weekend. Uh, I'm kind of just getting to this now, A, because I, I was, wasn't was feeling well over the weekend and I wanted to try to get rid of the, uh, the congested sounding bo in my voice. It's kind of still there, but it's uh, gone away for the most part. And, uh, and two, I've also been pretty busy with schoolwork, trying to get a bunch of stuff set to go, get ahead on a few things so that uh, when the break comes around, I have a, more time to be able to make more content for a PS2 series, maybe make a few, uh, like a handful of Civilization 4 videos, maybe even live stream ESL. I, I just want to try to free up my schedule a little bit so that during that week, I'm not going to be like completely 100% focused on homework. I'll have some time to just do a bit of leisurely relaxing as well as making some stuff for you guys. So, without further ado, and um, well, I guess since it's already kind of going on, um, now for the the idea behind the deck, I did take what I had in the of it in the video that I did I showcased off what I was going to try to use for the common deck. It was supposed to be a it was a battle mage deck that I had wanted it to use, and there are some a few slight differences in between that one and. Uh, the one that you're seeing right now. For instance, I think in the other one I had three copies of Dark Harvester and three copies of Mystic Dragon. Uh, I haven't done it just yet, but I'm about to add in uh, two copies of Dark Harvester in just a couple seconds here. And I was trying to think, okay, what other prophecy cards could I toss into the deck? Because I want to try to bring the number up a little bit. Honestly, in retrospect, I probably should have also thrown in a pointy wall of, spy of swords as well and taking out a couple other cards like uh, maybe the uh, sixth house amulet maybe oh I'm not a hundred percent sure I point is I know like in retrospect I should have taken these cards at those cards out some of them out and put in a couple more prophecies make a more prophecy oriented uh, battle mage and I would have done a lot better basically this one uh, this the, the run that I had with this battle mage deck, I went 4 and 3, which wasn't too bad. I made a mage deck that I went 1 and 3, which was uh, really crappy. And then the final one, I ended up uh, losing. So, yeah, I ended up walking away with a uh, a loss of 2 tickets. But it, it didn't re doesn't really matter, because in the re most recent gauntlet, the Singleton gauntlet, I definitely made uh, I made my tickets so back on that. that so as we can see, we're playing against LS1 Formula, who's the Nervarine, and he's playing a Arch deck. Now I don't quite remember exactly my what happened in this game. Uh, he did rally. He did get to rally up for a little bit. Uh, did I? Yeah, I ringed out to play more. Well, I think. However, he does end up taking that out. And pardon me for a second while I just quickly grab a drink. Yeah, he did. He did take take it out with uh, crushing. Blow, which, good on him. Good on him. He's allowed to rally back up, and it's. I think it's all going to a single creature. So this time, I opted for Mystic Dragon. I didn't want to drive that card mad because, well, it's a very, pretty bad uh, drive mad target. Kind of pointless on driving it mad, to be honest. <coughs> Uh, what did he do, do next? Oh, yeah, he tried to do that. Oh, this is where I used Drive Mad. I was very happy that I held on to it because then I could use Drive Mad on that. And then take his card out. Lethal works, thankfully, on uh, your opponent's turns, which is great. Something I wish Drain did, but oh well. And he finished off my guy, which was kind of crappy. And he got he got at the uh, the card he was looking for. So I knew that I kind of have to play a little more defensively. I can at least get ready f get ready to kill off the nimble ally. Um, 
does he end up trading? I don't remember if he ended up trading. I think he did, and I was able to get a Stormcloak Vanguard and then Stormcloak Battalion afterwards. Okay. 99% sure that's what he did. See if you can outrun me. I doubt. It's been fun, but this is where our little game ends. Yeah, that was, a, that was definitely a surprise move there. And now we see what he's been rallying up the whole time. Pretty strong card. Really good, good play on him. And here I kind of struggle with where I wanted to put the battalion. So on one hand, I could put in the left and ring it out and put 6th health amulet on it. On the other, which is what you see I end up doing here, I went for the smart play and decided, you know what, I can kill this creature in the right. No need to worry, and I even I have a possibility to keep mine alive. See, I did get Dark Harvester. I played him in there. That was kind. Of, that was a bit of a misstep on my part, I think. As well, I already had the battalion lined up to kill it. However, he ends up uh, he ends up going through my own guy. No big deal at the end of the day. It turns out he had he did have health in hand, so it's not looking good. However, I do have. I still have a few cards to play in that crushing blow and the plate that I just picked up. So at this point, it, yeah, okay, I thought so. Uh, I thought I had struggled to decide, okay, do I want to play the sixth health amulet? Do I not want to? Because regardless, uh, Cliff Hunter could take out the uh, Twin Lamps Council. Regardless on which play I did, but I think I decided to do that just in case he did have a Archer's Gambit. I'd at least get to keep my creature alive. Or at the very least, he would have to trade to pop the ward and then Archer's Gambit to, uh... Oh no wait, uh, he couldn't have Archer's Gambit. That was a bit of a silly thought of mine. Maybe I was thinking Crossbow. I'm, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, now I go, okay, we're just going to Savage Ogre since our guy's still alive. And he's got the Scorpion, May as well. Um, yeah, I, d I didn't have to worry about Unstoppable Rage, because that's an epic card, and I didn't have to worry about seeing epic class. However, uh, Crossbow is still another card that he could have used in that in that in in any of this situation, which I don't think he ended up playing a single Crossbow all game, which uh, a little, uh, little surprising there. Now, I'm not... Okay, um, I do remember what I did here. See, I checked that and went, okay, I'm going to, naturally, I'm going to uh, put up a guard in the right lane, as well as play Clipped Hunter to take out the Scorpion. He doesn't get his uh, benefit, and everything's good. However, that's, uh, that's not how, uh, that's not how Veteran works. Veteran works on, uh, you trait, uh, on you making the attack, so... It it kind of crossed my mind after the fact, and I went, oh yeah, there's see, that's the realization that hey, wait a second, um, yeah, it's gonna do that. And for some reason, I'm checking my grave. I don't know why I checked my grave. Not 100% sure why I did that. Play the bruiser. Fortunately, I did get a card in order to deal with that. Um, did I end up playing the savage ogre this turn? I don't think. Oh, I did. Okay, so I played it. I got my 10 damage in. He did get a prophecy. I mean, what did he get? I think he got fighters killed recruit off the prophecy. Either that or it's daring cut purse. It's one of those two. They make it too. Ah, it, it was daring cut purse. Okay. So that was a pretty uh, fortunate break on my part. Uh, I'm not sure why I didn't end the turn. I think I got a. Pretty sure at this point I got called away to uh, go do something. I went, okay. Um, I, well, actually, in retrospect at the time, I thought, okay, you know what? I'm just going to edit this out. Clearly, uh, when I put together this video, I uh, didn't. Well, I first made the uh, little individual chunks that I wanted. The, took the three games and edited them down. Uh, cut, took them away from the uh, the full video. And, well, I clearly forgot to uh, take out this one here. So yes, I am letting the turn meter drain. I did go away to, uh, I think somebody had called me and they wanted, uh, wanted me to do something. I don't remember what it was at the time. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let the end up letting that drain. I think I do come back in time for the next turn. Other than that, alright, come back in time to... Okay, yeah, I did come back in time to hit the end turn button. Alright, everything is good. Everything is okay. The universe has its balance restored. He drives mad on the ogre there. That's a smart plan in part. And I get Shambles, which is a really good card for me to get, because now I can uh, control the board. He did get another Twin Lamps Council, which, by the way, pretty good card for this kind of format. I got one of my Trespassers, which was a, that was a nice feeling. And did I get called away again? Really? Is this twice in one episode that I got called away and just... Hmm, shame on me, shame on me. I do know I end up uh, pulling off the win this game. Uh, and I think what I end up doing when I get back is I play Icy Shambles and take out the Windhelm Guard. I use the Ogre to trade into the Daring Cut Purse. Or maybe I might have been trying to decide what I wanted to do there. I might have been. And, yep. Yeah. Midnight Trespasser, I eat the Recruit, right there, yes, good, good mate, good pass me. Good job, good job, good thinking. I wanted to avoid that lethal at all cost. I'm pretty sure it went through me at the time, at, at the time, and it still has him clearly at this point, that he can't play Archer's Gambit, so he can't move his creature over, pick off one of mine, and then trade into the Ogre. You can't do that. Now, see, that was a mistake on his part. He shouldn't have uh, gone face right there. I mean, yeah, he does need to eventually whittle me away, but you want to make sure you can at least see, see what you can do about any prophecies, because I've clearly shown that I've played some prophecies. So, I decided to get to trade in the battalion so I could get my own battalion going. Pushing in for Lee. Pushing in for the kill. I've got lethal now in the field. Uh, there's not much he can do unless he has crossbow or another fell the mighty. There are limits to good manners. And I don't think he has any of those cards. Just speak the name. There's a uh, nice Yep, lethal, lethal, and that. So yeah, we won. The, we won the, this game. Arch game in the bag. No time for fools. Attack my creatures first so I can get I can uh, ensure that the crushing blow can always come in later. But yeah, that was uh, game number one. And now we queue into game number two. Not as a, not the greatest transition, I'll give it that. I'm still kind of, I've still got to work on that. Uh, but this time we went up against a uh, a spell sword, and I don't remember what he could do, but I did know that he had. Uh, two different removal options, and that's cast and he had. I don't think he had cast in design. He definitely had javelin. And no, he didn't have cast in time. Cast in time is a rare card. Uh, the other one that I think he could have, I and it was kind of in my mindset when I was playing around this was, uh, I think he might have. Uh, it's the uh, four cost willpower card that. You select a creature, and at the start of your opponent, at the start of your turn, it dies, and you get a completed contract for it. I was a card that I was thinking that he might be running just to try to get, you know, an extra removal card. I mean, I might, I'm, I probably would have if I was him. But then again. I really don't know what he was uh, going with here. As you can see, he did avo he avoided death. He ch his his golden saint cheated death, but then of course the shambles comes up and uh, bites it, bites her, and uh, takes her to the grave. Hold the line. Um, Your 
say these co these common games weren't really that action packed. By the way, that Moon Moth Castellian, we're gonna see that quite a bit. And that was another thing that I learned from this, because I when I was going through, the, I thought, you know, that's a pretty good way to uh, try to generate some cards. But I noticed, but we'll see in a few minutes that the devs they thought about this. They they were smart. Fairly smart about playing uh, playing around these cards, and what they did was is whenever you uh, play a cre whenever you get a random effect, and we might even see this on my own end, but whenever you play something that gives you a random creature, you end up it, it doesn't give you a random any creature. It it the randomness also uh, keeps to the. Uh, the theme of these gauntlets. So, for instance, this one's common. He actually only has two. He has two common rarity guards in his hand, and we'll see that in a couple. I think one of the cards he got was a uh, Dark Harvester. Uh, Ninety-nine percent sure on that one. Don't quote me. Yeah, so Dark Harvester. He got it from Moonmoth Castellian, as you can see, and that's when I kind of pieced it together that oh, you can only get common cards off of that. I said, that's pretty cool. They actually thought, they thought this through. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe they uh, they might have missed it. They, they, it's entirely possible that they could have missed it. I'll let nothing get by. Hold your positions. And he did not, I was very fortunate that he did not get that. That he did not get his, uh, his activation for the plus one plus one. And at this point, it's like, okay, if I can hold off this board, I should be able to win the game. Because he's essentially just played all of his hand right now, and I kind of need... I need to hold on. I can do that. Which is very fortunate. So, um... Hmm. What did I do here? I think I, uh... I think I may have shambled the, uh, Ripton Lawkeeper don't remember. Either I shambled the Ripton Lawkeeper, or I played Shambles on the uh, Solitude Stalwart. Nope, I didn't. I uh, consumed a guy, because hey, I could actually uh, use the stats. Gave him the plate, and oh, look at that, I'm going face. Look at that, I'm using my tinker, and I'm tinking. That's what my code teacher said. Or what he would say. Said, I'm not a smart guy, but I use my tinker, and I tink a lot. I don't know why he would always say that. You can't. At least the uh, tinking part, the tinking part, and what, except the just saying it's I think it was, uh. That was because he had a cousin that would do that. This was a really nasty card, getting all these boots. I kinda. And I was like, a, ooh. That kinda sucks. And I think he still has one of his guards left. One of the guards left. But I knew at this point, I gotta keep going with this. We have to just go for it. Because if he continues to get a, like, a card like that, and I don't know, these heavy removals, I'm going through the end thing. I thought he played three at one point, so hey, he didn't. Which was. Uh, I uh, may have lost it if he did, if he did uh, play three. And as you can see, I got a dead draw there, which really sucked. And he missed on that one again. That must have been awful. I'm like, oh, ooh. I thought, well, why can't you just play that in the other order? And then I realized, no, he only has the one willpower creature. He had to play the other one in order to get a in order to get a card. And that was a very nice drop for me to get. And I think I drew, I drove, uh, yeah, I drove the Resolute Ally Mat, and that was so that he couldn't just trade a recruit in and then kill off the Tyrannus Lawsman. And I was figuring, okay, um, he's down two javelins, and he doesn't look like he would play uh, a card that rewards you a contract and kills one of your opponent's creatures. And I checked that one, and yes, indeed, he did get that one from Moonmoth Castellian. I don't, the odds of getting two of those from the same. And something strikes me that it possibly shouldn't have happened. At any rate, now I've decided to buff up uh, my character here, go through the Theranos Lawsman, 
go through the guard and just continue to try to go off. He summoned more recruits though, which was getting kind of annoying. And he's trading here, he's trying to get himself lined up, he's playing a restless Templar, and that guy could kill mine pretty easy. So I played the initiate, I went to base, I didn't want to uh, play the steel scimitar because I knew I was going to, I was going to lose him. So there's no point. Heck, he got a si he got the silence. Oh wait, he oh hmm. he didn't actually end up trading, but he did do that. So he could go face, and it's kind of looking pretty desperate for me at the moment. It's not looking good. I'm gonna give it that. It's really not looking good. He's got more than enough damage to kill me. And I can't simply just go remove the wall, his uh, guy with that. Well, I could, but now I don't have Lee. I, I never had Lee. So it was always going to be a bit of a tough one to. It, it was going to be hard to come back. However, I did have. Guess I'll kill you. Did have items in my hand, and in retrospect, I really should have put the Oriental Sword on uh, on the on the werewolf there. And yeah, that's me thinking oh, I really should have done that. I should have done that, get the breakthrough damage, and try to do something. But he ends up trading with my creatures, which is really good. And another Restless Templar, and this is it. Okay, this is the turn, this is make or break, and I got Lightning Bolt. Classic Lightning Bolt move, and as soon as I played that, I realized I should not have done that at all should not have done have used that lightning bolt there what I should have done was I ha I should have held it in my hand go okay whoops um it kind of got me there and yeah see I'm checking through seeing what he cards he's played he's used two javelins so the odds of him getting a javelin off of a pro off of one of the prophecy cards while he does have two shots to get it, it it's not looking good and I do have a breakthrough character so the other, yeah, the other thing was I knew he didn't hit those two Dark Harvesters that he played. They weren't his. So if he did pack those into the deck, which I, I don't know if he did. If he had them in the deck, then that was another issue because I was dead. Okay, I've, if he got that, I was dead. If he got a Javelin, I was dead. If he got any card, I was dead. Fortunately... Crushing blows in my hand, just in case he got a low guard, but that didn't even matter. Just won the game. At the end of the day. And now on to the third and final game. Ooh, that one was a lot smoother. I liked that one a bit better. Uh, as you can see, I changed up the classes. So this was uh, one of the other ones. I didn't want to do all Battle Mage games, so I, here's just a classic mage. Now, what we got here is we're playing against a, uh, a willpower guy. On, at this point, I wasn't really, I wasn't really too happy with my luck. It was kind of, kind of a really putting a drain. I was seeing a lot of like borderline, and really annoying decks. Like we're talking like a lot of co like you put it together a bunch of common cards, and it ended up feeling like they got a meta start. That's how. Uh, that's how ridiculous it felt, and it. I, don't know, I wasn't landing any of my prophecy i was barely landing any prophecies uh, i was getting really bad draws so i wasn't having a good mood i wasn't in a good mood by this point and i think this was the last this was, i was at two losses at this point and a third one meant that i was losing my t i was losing my entry fee like I, essentially I, I wasn't getting my entry fee back which i really wanted i i didn't care that you know, I well, I did care, but it would have stung a bit more if I didn't get my entry fee back. And this this round, I did. The net, the uh, the other one, I didn't. So I think I got called away again. So I had to quickly run upstairs. Either that, either that, or I was debating on if I was going to play Call of Valor. I think I ended up playing Call of Valor in the end. But uh, one thing I wanted to uh, just point out here is our opponent, Iron Breath the Heretic. He is running uh, only willpower. Now, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think it would be a really cool format if we went with a uh, mono-colored deck only. So, you can only pick one color and you roll with it. 
and that includes neutral. If you pick neutral, that was your, that's your only color you can pick. I think that would be a really cool idea for a gauntlet, because it would, well, it would actually kind of force you to go aggro, but I, e each of the different classes have their own way that they can do that. Strength, obviously, heavy on the aggression. Uh, willpower, they could use a lot of cheap uh, cheap actions and some cheaper cards with ward to be able to hold on. Spell sword uh, can, ramp, can ramp their way up into a late game. Um, willpower, again, just a pretty big, pretty good at controlling, playing a few, uh, playing a bit more of a token style, and will, and, uh, I'll let nothing get by. Excuse me. Uh, agility, they have the, they have all of the goblins that they can rely upon, and goblins obviously have the, have some pretty decent tribal uh, strength among them, or at least some some of them have a, a a little bit of a tribal theme going there, and some of them just set, are good with other agility creatures. And then of course you have neutral and the Dwe Dwemer cards, which I think would probably out, might out be the. Uh, in the format of that, of only a single color, including neutral, it would uh, it would definitely be a, a shining star, like a move along something that no, not try. many people would think about. So he's he's laying on the pressure at this point. I'm kind of feeling it a little bit. Like okay, it's kind of it's uh, he's really pressuring me. I need to get a. Uh, I need to get some cart. I need to get some value going. So I play the sixth house amulet on the dragon. I trade into the stalwart and I play the castellian to uh, protect the dragon. And how did I, what did I get from this? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I got a spider, and that about sums up my luck. It was like out of all the cards, I get possibly the worst one, arguably the worst one. Even if I got Black Reach Rebuilder, it I at least well. gives me health. It would at least have given me some health, but no, I, I got the uh, the uh, spider, which it was a little like it like I was like, get this. It, just, it makes perfect sense. Of course, I would get the one guard in this entire game. That would that sucks. Like I could I, like if there was a card that would that says discard a card in a random card in your hand and you didn't get to pick but it still had some attack and defense value it would it would still have been better than the spider because i wouldn't have mind getting rid of any of the card well actually i shouldn't say i wouldn't have minded it it, it kind of would have sucked but at the same time I, I i get around it so he plays castellian i believe he actually i I vaguely remember, I think at some point, uh, one of my opponents playing Castellian ended up getting a... They ended up grabbing a uh, Senj Tiger. So the Wheel Power Guard, and that's probably one of the best guards you can get. Now that I think about it, best common guard that you could get. You could ar Dark Harvester is another arguable contender because you gain the health off of him. Uh, Night of the Hour kind of is a, a tiny bit of a mix of both worlds. That I wasn't expecting at all. I wasn't expecting him to play Sanctuary Raids. I didn't even know Sanctuary Raid was a common. I thought it was a rare card. As you can see, got the Mystic Dragon. And it was a bit. It was a. Looking at going. All right. Well. uh... I kind of lost nothing in that, and now I'm going to give my creature ward to make sure that he doesn't take advantage. It looks like we're back to where we started at. And I said, you know what? It's a guard. We may as well play it. Let's protect our guy. I don't have to worry about Immolating Blast. Don't have to worry about Dawn's Wrath. Don't have to worry about basically a lot. 90% of the really nasty cards that could come out of Willpower. Claws and their War Claw Mercenary because they War Claws and their pay all the time, I every time. The poet God's wisdom. And drops the effect Pilgrim for a nice drain, or at least a nice attempted drain. Uh, spoiler, he doesn't. it doesn't work out for him. The Oriel, do not waste time, and Shining Saint, he's just loading up the field a little bit. He's going, okay, so just in case he could get rid of my guy, he could get rid of uh, my Pilgrim, he a probably can't get rid of uh, I don't know why he said that. Anyways, very easy trade there. Went base. 
just to think around, like, okay, let's just hold off on the pro let's see what he gets out from a prophecy. Speak, citizen. He gets Saint. I think I decide to crush a blow Saint. Yeah, I did. And then the other Call of Valor. And I'm pretty sure at this point I've uh, more than won the game. I don't know if he was playing a uh, Call of Valor. If Iron Breath didn't, that was a uh, definitely a mistake. That it was definitely a pretty grievous mistake. He should have been playing Call of Valor. That's a great way for our willpower to get some cre some creatures over time, especially since it just gets you more and more as I time goes on. Uh, he's still really trying. That's the I don't think he had a javelin. The blood of Cold Harbor uh, oh, he did have head. that, though. And that, well, in a normal circumstance, that would save him. A spirit knife kind of puts a damper into that plan. And I think I also got another card that would have allowed me to kill him and kill it as well. Yeah, so there's the Firebolt, and that's game over at this point. It's 9 damage, more than enough to overcome that Templar. And... Or Legionnaire. Don't know if it's, a, if it's called Templar or Legionnaire. Um... I don't know why I'm not killing him right now, but... Anyways... That's basically how this goes. Spirit Knife, Firebolt, face, 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 face. Thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Don't forget to share this video or any of my other videos if anybody you think will enjoy my content. Um, stay tuned for the Singleton Gauntlet. should be coming up soon. And as we contest. see him say, this was a worthy contest. Um, outflank. Yeah, not quite. Thank you for watching. Till next time.